Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Destiny and I bought the Stressor Nightstand set for $35 at a estate sale. I love everything, almost everything about this dresser. I love the feet, I love the original hardware, I love all of the detail, but I do not like the color. I also feel like I was taking a little bit of a risk with these granite um, inlays. I don't really know what they are. They're really pretty, but I'm just not sure. I've never done anything like this, so we're gonna see. Both of these pieces are in really good condition. They're just really, really dirty, but they'll be good after we slap some paint on them. I'm just kidding. We're gonna go through all of the prep work. So let me stop talking and let's get to work. As always, I am starting this furniture flip by removing the hardware so I can give it a thorough cleaning. I'm cleaning this piece with some warm water and Dawn dish soap, just giving it a nice scrub down. Um, the detail work, I'm using a toothbrush. One of these days I'm going to invest into like one of those little drill brushes. Um, but until then, toothbrushes for the win. I'm sure these pieces have not been removed in years, um, but surprisingly it wasn't too bad. They were, they were pretty dusty, but I was thinking it was going to be a lot worse. As I was cleaning, I noticed this crack on the side. So I'm just going to mix up some Bondo. Bondo is a two part putty that cures in about 20 minutes and then it's ready to be sanded. While I had the Bondo out, I went ahead and made some repairs to the drawers as well. While the Bondo was curing, I went ahead and started sanding the nightstand. I'm using a 120 grit sandpaper. After I was done sanding, I decided that I didn't like these deep grooves from the manufacturers, so I just used some caulk and I just wiped it away with a wet rag. Now I'm going to let all the caulk dry and now I'm going to put paper down in these like inlay areas 
so that I don't get paint all on the inside of the dresser. I'm going to spray while the drawers are inside the dresser, so I'm just going to tape these off. And if you do get any overspray, you can clean up with mineral spirits. I like to mix a little bit of water in with my primer just so it goes through my spray gun easily. Um, I don't really measure. I measure with my heart. Um, I'd say about 10%. After your primer dries, it's really easy to see the spots that you miss that you need to go back and fix. So um, I see a bunch of scratches on the top still and the corner piece and this needs to be sanded down. The white just really brings out the imperfections. And when everything was dry, I went in with my sander and just sanded everything smooth. Wiping away all the dust. And using a shellac based spray paint to seal in this yellow spot. And when that was dry, I went in with my one, two, three primer and did a second coat. It's finally time for my favorite part. I mix this custom color. It's like a brown with lots of green undertones. It is so beautiful. Let me know what you think of this color and let me know, do you like to mix custom paint colors too? Also, if you're really enjoying what you're seeing, consider subscribing. Thanks.
While that coat of paint is drying, I am working on the hardware and I was having a hard time with what color to choose because gold was too bright and black was too stark of a difference. So I chose this bronze color. I am so excited to be at this point. Um, I've literally been working on this project for probably over a month at this point. Um, I actually got a kitchen cabinet gig, um, so this just got put on the back burner, um, but I'm so excited that it's finally getting done. <laughs> if you're curious about the kitchen cabinets, please let me know because I will post something in the community tab. After my top coat was dry, I started to remove the drawers so that I could measure the inside of them and cut my peel and stick wallpaper. I was so excited to use this uh, wallpaper on the inside of the drawers because I just felt like it really matched the paint that I picked. Um, but I was really bummed to find out that they didn't fit all the other, other drawers. They were too big and the pattern would only go one way. So I decided to pivot and I'm removing the paper, or I'm sorry, the tape off of these doors so that I could get ready and wax them. I ordered this new to me uh, wax off Amazon from Art Alchemy in the color Bronze Age. Um, it's really pretty, I really like it. I um, have never used this brand. I usually use Rub and Buff, but it's pretty good. 
And before you go and say, oh, you can't even tell a difference, you really can. And it's the little things, the little details that get you noticed, in my opinion. My new wallpaper arrived and I decided to go with this tree themed and I ended up really loving it. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Here is some before pictures just in case you forgot what it looked like. I feel like these colors are absolutely stunning together. I am so happy with how this turned out. I hope that I earned your subscription today. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. It helps small channels like mine grow. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.